I'm Jay Maxine. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, comma, y'all, what I eat in a day, okay? What I eat in a day, y'all, because I'm back home. I need to align my food with my fitness goals. So, we're also going to do some reformer Pilates because I need to work out. It's been about three weeks since I've like worked out consistently, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. If you're new here, I lost 65 pounds by changing up my eating habits and incorporating exercise. So guys, thank you so much for joining, and those that are returning, thank you so much. Don't forget to like if you like this video, comment, because I love to chit chat and get to know you, and definitely subscribe and hit that post <laughs> notification bell, that way you're notified every time I upload. Thanks y'all, and let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm running late to Pilates, but I need to get a little bit of protein before I go because your girl's trying to get back on track from being on my trip. I'm planning on doing like a 30 day challenge for myself. Got my flu shot. class I promise like y'all know I'm on a weight loss fitness journey definitely trying to get myself back on track since you know I decided to just go to Europe and eat everything there which was fine and it was fun you also we're gonna start wait hold on y'all your girl been your girl been working out look at that okay come on Pilates Anyways, uh, so it's time for breakfast, but I'm going to start off with my shot. This is the organic apple cider vinegar infused with ginger, turmeric, and the mother is in there. But this is it. You know, I just like to start my day, or some point in the day, in case I forget in the morning, because y'all be so busy, um, with something. Cheers to good health. Okay, y'all, so we had our shot. Now it's time for breakfast. We need some food. So I want to start with some oatmeal. Y'all, oats are just so good for you. At least they helped me while I was on my weight loss journey. Now I'm on my fitness journey. I just, I'm not trying to lose my weight. I'm trying to tone it up. So we have old fashioned oats. I like to cook my oatmeal with oat milk because it just makes it creamier for me. And then, of course, I do put bananas while I'm cooking my oatmeal. Don't know why, it just makes it taste good. And you can definitely omit this. Um, and then when that's done, I'm gonna top it off with some chia seeds. And um, I have raspberries and strawberries. And then I have some walnuts. These are so good for gut health. And then, um, y'all, what are these? If you said pecans, you're wrong. You're wrong, y'all. These are pecans, okay? Pecans. 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 And then um, I do have some organic raw almonds, but I'm not going to use this, I don't think. You never know. I'm just going to put them on the side. And then I'm going to top it off with some more, uh, either some apple, pear, or pomegranate. The thing about pomegranates, y'all, I don't know how to cut these. Like, isn't there some kind of special technique? I need to YouTube it, but... I have some. These are good for you. So who knows? These might go in, they might not. So we're going to see what we're working with. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. I will show you guys everything I have down below as well. All right, y'all, this is everything that I had. Just want to make sure you guys can see it. And I'm also going to use um, probably my chopper. Measure with my my heart, okay. I'm gonna let that start to boil, and I'm gonna add my bananas.
nice and thick like I like it. I did add some uh, nutmeg and some cinnamon because I needed a little flavor. Y'all already know. My oatmeal, you gotta be able to throw it on the wall and it sticks, okay? Don't give me no watery oatmeal. We don't want that over here. So I decided not to go with um, the pomegranate, y'all, because I just don't know how to cut these properly. So if you know how to cut these right, or a good YouTube channel for me to look at, y'all, please let me know, okay, in the comments. Please, please, please. So I'm gonna put that on the side. I am gonna go ahead and use I apples and pears. So I'm just gonna throw it on there. You know, we got a little bit of apples. And like I said, some you can saute these. A lot of people like to saute it. I do like the little added um, crunch to my um, oatmeal. I'm just gonna put the little raspberries right there as well. Anything on top of oatmeal, like whatever you like. Y'all, also on TikTok, if you do not properly store chia seeds, like the bugs get in them. So now I'm in there like making sure I've been storing them right, but we good, we are good over here so far. So just a little bit, not much. You could drizzle it with some honey, but I'm gonna opt out. I'm gonna just go ahead and eat it just like this. Right. I did add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg when I was cooking my oatmeal, but it is, I think, really hot. It's weird, I like mine oatmeal like a little cooled down. I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. Cause I make this quite often, but look at it. I just love how pretty, y'all know I love colorful food. I need all the colors in every meal that I eat. So let's see. Mm. Baby, I'm crunchy. Apples and pears. Mmm, the walnut. Yeah, this is gonna stick to my ribs for a couple hours. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Y'all, so we ended up going out for lunch. I wanted some Mexican food. Y'all, I'm looking at this menu like I don't already know that I want shrimp tacos. <laughs> teriyaki salmon bites with some sushi rice along with some edamame and avocado just because I need some extra fat in there um, but you can prepare everything in advance because you definitely want your salmon to marry and marinate and all the seasoning and all the good stuff and you can cook your salmon in the oven you can cook your salmon in the air fryer it does not matter I mean, it depends on if you're trying to be a little bit more healthy. I do see people like deep fry it. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just gonna grill mine on um, the the stove top. So I'm always hungry. But anyways, guys, let's go. Okay, guys. So here's everything I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some sushi rice, onion powder, sriracha honey, rice wine, vinegar. I wish I had the plain one, but I only had the basil and oregano. It'll be okay. Um, slap your mama, um, some pure sesame seed oil, some um, sesame seed seeds, um, a little bit of baking powder, some Tony Saturays, some low sodium um, soy sauce. Um, I have some scallions. I actually got this when I was in France, so I just wanna try this seasoning blend. Some ginger, I'm gonna slice these up and dice them. Um, the garlic, lemon, and I'm gonna have avocado on the side. I'm gonna obviously use some salmon. I'm gonna cut these up in little pieces. And then I'm also gonna add some edamame to the dish. So we're just gonna add all this. It'll be on top of some rice with some sriracha sauce. Should be quick, very easy. Thank you. 
is the less sodium. Again, I just prefer it. I try not to have too much um, salt in my in my meals. I mean, I do my best, okay? I do my best. Um, and then we're gonna add some sesame seed oil. Y'all, this is smells so good. Teaspoon? A little more than a teaspoon. There we go. And I want this to kind of sit and marinate. Here's my ginger. I just snapped it off this and kind of peeled it. I'm just gonna dice it up. So I didn't use all the ginger. I think that's plenty. Just gonna get a little bit of Over for dinner. Drop a comment. Let me know you coming over. Y'all know salmon cooks real fast and it's already falling. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Ah! Sticking it up a little bit. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna drop mine. Add a mime in there. I don't need a lot. We have our rice. Cut it like right here. Doesn't this look good? And it was so quick. It was like 10 minutes. So let's, let's try it out. Okay. Mm. Oh, there we go. Looks good. Let's taste it. Baby. Y'all. Mmm. Y'all. This is gonna be in my rotation from now on. And you can switch out the protein, right? You don't have to do salmon, you can do shrimp, you can do chicken, you can do steak, lamb, whatever y'all eat out there, tofu, vegetables, just vegetables on top of this rice would be so good as well. You know what? I think I have some chopsticks. Good, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. Try it, let me know. If you put your own spin to it, let me know as well. Y'all be taking my notes. Y'all give me great tips and I really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this video was very helpful. This is what I eat today. I'm trying to get back on track with my fitness goals. If you could, please give this video a like. Definitely comment because I would love to get to know you and hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell, y'all. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye, guys. I'm